And welcome back to the Crush Bandicoot 3 Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be taking on the first special, st first of the bonus stages in the game, Ski Crazed. Just to show off how what the special warp room. Once you get enough um, uh, oh, relics, once you get enough relics, you'll be able to um, oh, pause that for no reason. Yeah, so what happens if you get five relics, you access the first bonus stage of the game, which is this one. What happens is that each level need, requires about five relics each to get the, um, in order to get the um, whole thing done. And with that being said, there are also hidden levels which you can actually access once you do special circumstances, which I'll be uh, showing off in the, the, the part after I've gotten a few more relics. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah. Right, so let's. So I'm taking it slow because I need to get the um, the box gem, and once that's done, I'm gonna get the relic. I don't know why I got the relic there. It's because I just want to know how fast it takes me to get to the to the exit with all the um, boxes. Unfortunately, I don't have any checkpoints there because if I do actually mess up like that. I get saved back from the beginning to the stage. Uh, I should have ignored that. Yeah, this proves how badly the, um, the stupid uh, the, the jet ski handles like total ass in this game. Well, reasonably because of how, because it goes too fast, the the, uh, the um, what was it? The steering can be a bit flimsy at times. Ugh. Oh. Uh, I don't know why I did that, it's because I needed to get all the boxes. Uh, I had to restart that because I needed to get the best time. I attempted to get the best time. Damn it! I did that on the last take, which pretty much wasted about uh, eight and a half minutes of recording time, which also put a bit of a dent on my computer's hard drive as well. Oh, for God's sake! Uh, let's skip! Alright, so we decided to uh, skip to the part where I got through the uh, to the next part, to this part, where I had to avoid getting the bombs and having to get all those uh, those uh, time crates. But I think I might have nullified my chances of getting the uh, relic. Ah, god damn it! I don't like uh, the joys of editing. The joys of editing out any all the, uh, the getting the relic and all that stuff, all that jazz. To be fair, honest. Come on, there we go. We got our aku aku. So to get my chance of actually surviving this death course. Oh God's sake! I just couldn't show the whole thing because I kept on struggling. Alright. Kaboom! Kablano! We got all the nitros detonated. I think that what would happen is that. Oh, I've got. I lost Aku Aku, but at least I. But at least I'm still alive. Yeah, th that's because Aku Aku protects me from one hit. There we go. Whee. There we go. 100 boxes smashed. And let's see how well I did. Oh, I didn't get the uh, relic, but might as well bear with it. It was a it was a decent effort whilst it lasted. All right, put kid on. And of course, we got the gem instead. But at least it gives us, at least it actually um, gets us near to actually finishing the game. Well, yes, I will show you all the gem paths as well, as well as the bonus levels, but not all of the relics. No, that's all to be done off screen. Meanwhile, all the gems I will be able to get in the, uh, I'll be able to get all the gems on the screen, whilst off screen will be the relics. I will only show a few relic stages, especially some of the uh, 
some of the motorcycle stages, but from some, but for some reason, I don't feel like I, should, I just can't be bothered. Yeah, you know what? Get, you know what? No to number two. That number two, that number two is definitely poison anyway. It would have been suicide just to get back into. It would have been suicide just to get back into, just to get back to it. Yeah, I just wanted to get to the finish. I don't want to make any more mistakes like I did earlier on. Well, my previous recording attempt also, I also got, I got hit several times by bombs, mostly because they were in the way or because I just couldn't react in time. Meaning, uh, meaning a complete error, meaning either a, a, an error or fortunes. Either that or because they're, because the masks are just far too in between. Too far in between. Uh, you know what? I decided not to take my time this one and just go for it. You know what? Screw it. I'm not going to, it's not worth the risk. Come on. I just don't. If, you, if you're going for the time trial on these stages, it's best. If you've missed any boxes, just ignore them and continue on. Because uh, even though that will nullify your chances of getting the platinum relic, at least you are, at least you got in the chance of either getting the gold or the sapphire one. Because I don't think you need all the platinums in order to complete the game. No. Every, every, no, I think every relic has to be gold or better if you want to get the gem, if you want to get the gem from Coco at the end of the game. I know a lot of people have actually, um, know that by, know that by now. To just, they just wanted to put point, put my points across. But I just can't do all the, get all the boxes. Ugh. Finally, we got the relic, but it's the sapphire one. <sighs> Let's kid on the, there. And with that being said, we're finally done with Ski Crazed. And that about time too. That's that done. Now, now I can get on with Hang 'em High getting the yellow gem. That's because I am going to get that's because I am going to get all the colored gems and see if I can get through. What the hell? Oh no! Right, we go. Oh dear, that was a good start, wasn't it? Getting humiliated by two scimitar wielding swordsmen and Crash getting its pants chopped and falling into the pit. But then again, I'm not. But then again, I'm not mad. Just found it. Just kind of found it hilarious, to be fairly honest. <laughs> oh dear. I don't find any of Crash's uh, funniest deaths be frustrating, but more, you know, extremely funny. Well, it looks like my uh, visit to Hangem, we visit to Hangem High. It's very short. So, but the next time I do that is to get the relic. Why? Because I need all the relics in order to complete the game, that's why. But then again, it can get a bit too tedious at times. Alright, yellow gem obtained, finally. That's all the colored gems obtained, and finally I'm... I will be able to do the gem, the multi-gem path in the, the final one. So this is the final, so we're gonna go back to Warp Route 5 and make our way to the final level. Let's have a look at the gems. Yes, we've got all colored gems and it was doing pretty well so far. All right, so with that being said, welcome to the last main level of the game, Bug Light. Let's see, yes, Bug Light. Well, um, initially, that, initially the first part of it is of course not encased in darkness. Is encased in light. Maybe that might. Maybe certain parts of the area are better lit. But once, but once you get into the tomb, things will only get darker from here. Yeah. 
to get through those uh, enemies. So after having two entirely inside tubes, we are got an outside area. Oh, for God's sake. We got ourselves a two area outside areas where it's night time and inside areas are also what the <laughs> crash just deflated himself oh dear i had to do that because uh, towards these these um poison darts and um, traps which i don't really seriously shouldn't consider going into oh for god's sake let me in Ugh. What's that noise? Thank you very much, Mr. Bubby, for detonate for getting rid of that uh, box. Oh now for the gem path, it's got a lot of traps. Bring two of the Aku Akus from the main stage of that Aku Aku box tower with you. It will be it's it's better to be safe than sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here comes another mummy. Oh, for, oh, I just got hit once. Right, so that's blue pop done. Yeah, green pop is spears and nitro. So watch out for the spears and the nitros. Just watch out. Yeah. Oh, on this part, I decided to uh, get the D use the D-pad because I feel safer doing that. If I use the Gatalog stick, there's a 50%, there's a massive chance I will fall, creed off and die. You need to have to start the whole thing over and over again. Oh my god, that mummy just fell off! <laughs> it seems it last long. Here comes the Spikes Mummy again. The curse of the Spikes Mummy. Maybe Cortex done this just to stop uh, Crush from s spinning into his head into his uh, torso so the only way to do it is to get his uh, get himself back into the is to hit the head all right so no more dark areas now we go off we got the gems so let's continue the main area oh it's aku aku time ladies and gentlemen All right. We here we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna miss these levels once we're done. The only time I can revisit levels is, of course, go to is to go to get the um, what was it again? Uh, Uh, the, I think the only time I can I'm going to revisit is of course the purple gem path in the purple gem path in uh, right. well, I'm going to ignore those nitros I'm going to ignore the oh no I can't see oh, oh my god oh my god I managed to avoid getting hit by those nitros Oh, I've ignored those three nitros, but then again, I might as well use the detonator to get rid of them. So no need to use the uh, the uh, brute bazooka. There we go. I've got to watch out for these bloody crocodiles. Goodness gracious me! Crash Bandicoot. Being Australian, oh, oh god, not the King Cobras again. Oh god, this graces me. Or the Arbar, or the uh, Tan Arbox. Right, we just uh, we got the uh, Nitro is detonated, the gem has been obtained, crystal, both gems, and of course, we now. F and we are now finally done the last level until we get to do the relic stage, that is. All right, Crash, do your Crash Darts one more time before we get off. All right, now it is time 
to stop Cortex and Uka Uka once and for all. <laughs> what are you laughing at now? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the part where I'm supposed to be angry, full of rage. I see. Incensed beyond belief. Once again, you have outsmarted and outspun my best henchmen. I should be rather upset, shouldn't I? And in fact, we're furious! But it seems you have overlooked one small detail, you little orange delivery boy. Now that you have gathered all the crystals, all we have to do is take them from you! I will not do that in the slightest, Duka Uka. Alright, I hope we are ready. Crash Bandicoot for the last time! Give the crystals to me! No! In fact, Aku Aku and I are going to kick your ass once again! Alright, so this is Cortex's boss fight. So, so there are three different forms to this one. One where, in this form, Aku Aku and Uka Uka fight with a beam trying to see who's better. Oh, I nearly got hit the beam. What well, if you hit the beam, you'll be burnt. And also, when Cortex you know, fires three shots, you he will throw mines at you to deter you from hitting him. Once his shield is down, hit him, and then get put him into the hole and get him to the pit in the middle of the platform, which will give him a hit. Honestly, though, it's it's not that. Despite the fact it looks difficult, I think the whole. The Havos fight isn't that too bad in terms of difficulty. It's much easier than the last games. Now they do this spinning attack. Both masks are doing this spinning attack, which will burn crash if hit if collided with. Right. Go down. Go down, Cortex. Right. One more to go. <sighs> right. This is it. Now this is now they're got to be doing this attack where they go, where they where they will both fight on Crash's position. They both they both form a hole and it explodes. Once again, avoid Cortex's fireballs. There's mines again. That's 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 detonated to mine, which is pretty good. Come on, Cortex. Why aren't you cooperating? Come on, down you go. Oh, for God's sake. God down you go, and we've done it. We got the speed shoes. To run faster, hold down R2 button whilst running anywhere. Crash Bandicoot, finally we've done it once again. We defeated Cortex. Booyah! Defeated again? This is not fair. Maybe they I give up. To a nice big beach with a nice big drink. And a woman with nice big bags of eyes for my head. It's not a I thought he was going to say something really sexy and double entendrist. <laughs> oh, in fact, this is becoming a bit of a cliffhanger, isn't it? Oh, goodness gracious me. We have to get the gems now. In order to get the best ending, we have to get all the gems and all the relics. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time for when we start the gem hunting and the relic collecting in order to get all the gems in the game. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in part 10 of the Crash Bandicoot 3 Let's Play.